Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as some of you probably already know from following me on my social media, I recently got back from the Bahamas a couple weeks ago and it was absolutely beautiful, guys. I had the greatest time, but something happened. Basically, I got sunburned. I posted on my Snapchat about this and the amount of support you guys gave me honestly meant a lot. I was in pain for days and my skin started peeling halfway through the trip. Now I truly don't want this to happen to anyone else so I made this video to help prevent this from happening to you. So with that, let's get into the story time. So it all started when I took off. I went on this trip with my mindset. I wanted to get tan. So I only took SPF 15 with me and I thought this was enough protection from the sun but it turns out I was doing it all wrong. So my friend that I went on the trip with didn't get burnt at all, so I simply had to ask her what she did. I said, Sabrine, I have a burning question. Does SPF really matter? Is that why you didn't get sunburned? Yes, the sun protection factor does matter. It boils down to the measure of UVB protection that you are getting from the sun. You see, the sun emits three types of ultraviolet radiation, UVA, UVB, and UVC rays. UVC rays don't get through our atmosphere, so we don't need to worry about that. However, UVA rays are what cause aging of the skin and are linked to skin damage and can play a role in some skin cancers. Finally, UVB rays have a slightly higher energy, damaging the DNA of skin cells directly and are the main rays that are thought to cause sunburns and most skin cancers. So, when I'm concerning myself with sunscreen, how do I protect myself from both UVA and UVB? if SPF is a primary measure of UVB. You need to look at the sunscreen and ensure that it has broad spectrum SPF for UVA and UVB protection. You see, sunscreen contains organic or chemical blockers, as well as inorganic or physical blockers. The chemical blockers work similarly to a sponge, absorbing high intensity UV rays to ensure you're getting protected. Make sure the sunscreen contains one or more of these ingredients, oxybenzone, which covers and blocks UVB and some UVA rays, avobenzone, which blocks UVA rays, octosalate, which blocks UVB rays, octosyrolene, homosalate to cover UVB, and oxinoxate, which covers UVB. Now, the physical blockers work in a similar manner to a shield, protecting the skin by reflecting and scattering the UV rays, which include zinc oxide, which again blocks UVB and UVA wavelengths, and titanium dioxide, which also blocks UVA and UVB protection. See, on my trip I'm pretty sure I picked up a broad spectrum sunscreen because I wanted to try to protect myself against photoaging, which is basically the premature aging of the skin and is caused by altering normal skin structures and it causes wrinkles, pigmented spots, and other factors. But see, I still got burnt from this. So what is the deal? So broad spectrum protection matters, but so does the SPF value on your sunscreen. So what is SPF? SPF, or sun protective factor, is the ratio of sun exposure that the skin is able to tolerate before burning or minimal sunburn. So if I applied SPF 15, should I have used SPF 30 or even SPF 60? Will it protect me more from the sun? Believe it or not, the difference between SPF 30 and 60 isn't actually that high. SPF 60 only blocks about 1% more UV rays than does SPF 30. So then a higher SPF doesn't matter? Well, it does. It's recommended that you use a SPF 30, but there are other factors to consider when applying sunscreen, such as thickness and application. You see, there was a recent study that found that sunscreen users receive less than half the sun protection because people simply aren't applying it properly. People are applying their sunscreen too thin, and typical application only provides 40% protection. However, they found that damage was reduced when sunscreen was applied at a thickness of 0.75 mg per centimeter squared, and reduced even more when applied at a thickness of 2 mg per centimeter squared. And if not applying sunscreen properly, then a higher SPF of 30 plus is recommended. So how much is this 2.0 milligrams per centimeter squared thickness? Like how much sunscreen am I supposed to be applying? You should apply about one ounce of sunscreen for your entire body, enough to fill a shot glass. To break this down, that is approximately nine teaspoons, where one teaspoon is about the size of a dice. You should use one teaspoon for the face, head and neck, one teaspoon to the arms and shoulders, one teaspoon for your front and your back, two teaspoons to each of your legs and feet. So follow the teaspoon method. 
we must also apply sunscreen every two hours to ensure proper sun protection. And remember to apply areas such as the top of your hands, ears, neck, lips, and the back of your body. Oh, and one last thing. Remember that everyone needs sunscreen. Tall, short, dark, or light, applying sunscreen is important for everyone. So it's critical we learn how to apply it properly. I thought applying sunscreen was very simple, but that is 100% not the case. As you've seen in this video, applying sunscreen properly is a skill, and it's one we should all really take out the time to learn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Please be sure to comment below uh, with your experiences on sunscreen and hit that subscribe button. See you guys!